everybody, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, and I want to talk to you about faith. You see, I started a, a new series at our Open Heavens World Sunday Church called Radical Faith, and I believe right now God is releasing the gift of faith and even the spirit of faith to those who want to do great things. You see, faith is like the vehicle or the mode of transportation that takes you from point A to point B. You need to get in the car or you need to work your faith to get to where you're going to the next stage level of your life. Most people have faith in fear rather than faith in God. You have faith in your bank account, faith in what you see in your funds, rather than having faith in the provider, Jehovah Jireh. Where is your faith? In fact, fear is putting your faith in the wrong entity. God wants us to have faith in Him. The Bible says that without faith, no one can please God. So I believe right now we need to have big faith. We need to have radical faith. In the beginning of this year, 2022, God wants to give you a greater measure of faith so that you will begin to do and see things that you've never seen before. Here in the Word of God, Hebrews 11 verse 8, by faith. Abraham obeyed when he was called to go to, out of a place. My goodness. He was to receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. Some might have called Abraham stupid. Some might have called Abraham crazy. Some might have called Abraham, you're foolish. I'm sorry, he had faith. And sometimes faith makes you do crazy looking things. You see, God called Abram. As Abram was seeking out for the creator of the universe, the God of the universe, God called Abram, singled out one man, one person. God is looking for one person who will say yes. Are you going to be that one man, that one woman of God that will say yes? I don't have much. I'm a nobody. I'm nothing. But Lord, here I am and I'm willing to be used by you and to surrender my life to you. Abram was singled out by God. And God called Abram. Some say called. God called Abram. The Bible here says to go out to a place. I believe right now God is saying, are you ready to step out? Are you ready to go out? Are you ready to leave the place of comfort? Leave the place of control. Where you are the king of the mountain. Where you are in full control of everything in your environment. Are you ready to step out of the boat and begin to walk on water? I believe God wants us to have big radical faith right now in this season because he wants to do great things. Number one, faith makes you look crazy. Faith makes you do peculiar, odd things that will be misunderstood by those around you. Let me tell you, someone who's filled with faith begins to offend the religious. The religious are carnally minded. The religious will say, that doesn't look like God. That doesn't see, why would God tell you to do that? Why would God tell you and not me? But you see, people who are filled with childlike, pure, innocent faith in the Lord, God will get more done with faithful people than religious, judgmental, condemning, condescending people. Faith makes you look crazy and do crazy things that will often be misunderstood and judged. Number two, faith is outside of your box. God wants to bless you, but many times it will be above your budget. God wants you to do certain things, but many times it will be outside of your bank account. Oh, Jesus, this is all I have, this is all I got. Well, God is saying, good. Because now you need me to complete what I want you to do. Faith is outside the box. Number three, faith pleases God. Someone say faith. Faith pleases the Lord. Remember in the Gospels, Jesus said, oh, I have not seen anybody in all of Israel. I have not seen any Jew, any daughter, son of Abraham have this much faith. God is moved by faith. He is taken aback by someone who believes in him and in his word. 
The Bible says, Second Chronicles 20, 20, believe in God and his prophets and God will establish you and you will prosper. Believe in God and his prophets and he will establish and prosper you. Number four, faith is spelled R-I-S-K. But let me tell you, there's also another four letter word that faith is spelled. T-E-S-T. -E oh, I feel tested in my finances right now. Oh, I feel tested in my patience. But I'm just going to pray in the name of Jesus. Have you ever felt tested in your faith? Have you ever felt like God is saying, take a risk? I believe that the future belongs to the brave and destiny belongs to the risk takers. Faith means that you take risks in life. Don't play it too safe. Don't play it comfortable. Don't calculate things. No, take a risk and step out. Begin to walk on water. Faith is spelled R-I-S-K, but it is also spelled T-E-S-T. -E and God wants to put your faith to the test. You have faith? Show me. Faith without action is dead. You believe God will bless you this year? Show me. Faith without actions is dead. And last but not least, faith is dead without action. I believe, church, this is the year for you to have action. Adrian, this is the year for you to have action. Step forward, move forward, march forward. You may feel like you are on the down bottom pit. You are on the abyss below. You are in the worst season of your life. You did not have a good start to the new year, but it's not too late for you. Come on. The Bible says faith without action is dead. Have action. Begin to move. Faith is alive. Faith is the living substance of Jesus. It is who he is. He is faithful and true. So have action. Have movement. Begin to move. Begin to do. Begin to be. Faith makes you do something. Faith makes you look like something. Even waiting on God is not passive. It's very active. Some say active faith. I believe right now God wants to do great, miraculous, supernatural things around you, out of you, and through you. But we need faith. The disciples said to Jesus, Help my unbelief. I believe God is releasing the gift of faith to believe and to do and to see greater things. Lift up your hands. God, I thank you for our friends. Everybody who's watching today, that you will increase their faith. God, would you be pleased with them? God, would you mark them and call them, call them out of the comfortable place, out of the small place? For God is calling you out like Abram. And he's about to bless you and make you a father and mother of many nations. People of God, I believe God is releasing faith unto you. Do you have faith? Show me. You say you have faith. Show me. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lynn. And I believe God is releasing faith so that you will see the greatest season and year of your life yet. God bless you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, and I speak grace, grace over you.